So you join us now looking at the Westphalia James Cook 2020. <laughs> and uh, this particular one has been done in full like off-road spec and it looks super, super cool with nice big chunky tires, huge uh, beefy wheels and yeah, race suspension by the looks of things. It looks really, really smart. Now this has got a, a big double bed that you sleep lengthways in, but it's only a six meter long van and there's a clever way that they do that. So let's go and have a look. Now you can see behind me how they've gone about getting that double bed in such a short van. It has like an extension bit that comes out, which is a really clever idea. So yeah, you get a nice big bed, but in a relatively small van. Good idea. So it's got some rear storage at the back here. It's quite big actually. And it looks like you can access it from inside as well. A little bit of a garage. Quite like this as well. Huge bike rack that swings well out of the way so that you can extend that. Entering in through the sliding door, you're greeted by a half dinette, which becomes a full four seater dinette when you spin round the two captain's chairs. The kitchen comes with plenty of storage, with three massive drawers beneath the two burner hob and sink. There's a huge fridge further back from the kitchen which can be opened both ways, which means you can access beers from the bed. All the lights, heating etc is controlled by this large touch screen opposite the kitchen. Now the James Cook's party trick is this sliding rear unit that my glamorous assistant, aka me, is now going to discuss. It's an electronic motor that winds the bed end out really. Um, so it makes it absolutely massive. This is a very long bed. I will show you how long it is. Quite wide as well. It is. Um, so yeah, it's a huge bed. My, my only quibble, a little bit really, is the lack of windows here. Now yes, you've got the sort of fairly large window at the back but other than that you haven't got them on either side it's something I kind of like to see I think it's it is possible you could potentially put a window here and then when it slides in obviously it wouldn't look out at anything but it would be nice whilst it's open to have an extra window there or one on both sides that kind of thing but you do also have your privacy and it would make it nice and dark at night time so you're not going to get disturbed by the light in the morning so who knows really it depends what you like so let us know what you think about it in the comments. It is actually going to be coming to the NEC in October. So us Brits will get to be able to see it uh, in the flesh. That's in October and it will be there the whole week. Um, the guys here have been lovely at Westphalia and they'll be with it as well, ready to show you around. So it's going to be, I think, the off-roading one as well that's going to be there. And you can buy that as it is, which is really cool. So that's going to be really worth seeing. So definitely check it out at the NEC in October if you're going. On the opposite side to the kitchen is the washroom, which comes with a small sink, cassette toilet and wet room style shower. This particular James Cook is a standard roof option. There is also a high top which has a folding bed that looks big enough for two adults and accessed via a small ladder. Finally, there's also a pop-top option, which we had a look at on the Mercedes stand. And you can see how enormous this pop-top bed is. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the little bell so that you're notified of all our future vlogs. Thanks for watching.